Welcome to the Hydec Industrial OEM Sales Podcast, Episode 1. I'm John Welsh. And I'm John McLean. And we're excited to announce the release of this internal tool developed to get pertinent information into the hands of Hydec salespeople, allowing them to sell Hydec faster. Today's episode is the OxyStop. In today's session, we'll cover our sales plan, how to present the product, how the product works. You'll see a video of a demo Dan Zoller gave at the CMA Drive for Technology. We'll introduce the tool CRM that will be used to plan, track, and measure our success. And we'll discuss our IMPS plan for September. So we'll start off with the sales plan. Our goal is to receive an order for an Oxy stop in 2016, but of course we'll take more than one if we can get it. Tools have been developed and can be found in the Press Market folder in SharePoint. Each one of the industrial OEM focused markets has a, has a folder in SharePoint where we're storing presentations, animations, and other tools that will help sales. John, can the OxyStop literature still be found on the Hydec Global page? Good point, and yes it can. If you search OxyStop, check out what you'll find. The info we're putting into SharePoint is meant for the sales force and not the end customer. So it's, it's information that's going to help with the sales effort. It's important that we also measure the effort we're putting into this, and to do so, John, how do you think we're going to do that? CRM's the logical and only answer, John. Bingo, right on. We've developed a list of customers that should receive this message. You can find this list in CRM. We're starting with the press market since it's the focus market, but this does not mean that this message can only, can't be taken to other customers in other markets. We just want to ensure this message goes out to the ones identified in the press market. And if the message is not well received, well, maybe we can default into some component opportunities and a better understanding of the customer. We're asking sales to study this information, engage in conversation with your customers, and make presentations. Then report each interaction back to us by updating the customer record notes. This is important. We all learn from your presentations, and we need your feedback, which will be used to refine our message. Ideally, these conversations will lead to projects. As of today, we have one open project through CMA at the McLean Fog for the OxyStop. It's real important, guys, that we get your feedback so we can determine the best way to, to present this project in IMTS and going forward. So please invite your customers to visit us at the IMTS show. It's a simple pitch, guys, how to present this. To start the conversation, we must talk about their machine and not OxyStop initially. So we're going to walk through a role-playing sales call. I'm going to present as the customer, and John will present as the salesperson. John, I'm busy, and I only have 15 minutes for you. What do you got for me? Thank you, John. Hydec has a new and innovative hydraulic product that can completely change the reservoir concept for industrial systems. We call it the OxyStop. John, I read your literature quick. I really see no issues with my reservoir, but the system does look interesting. So how can this benefit me? Well, there are four benefits that it can bring you. If you have the need for any four of these initiatives, hearing this message is for you. One, if you're looking to reduce the footprint of your machine. Industrial trends are for machines to take up less space. Our product can reduce your hydraulic reservoir by a size by a factor of 10. Two, you can get better control of servo valves. By degassing the oil, the bulk modulus increases, giving you a stiffer system. This is still a theory that's being tested currently on systems where customers want to increase the frequency on cyclic fatigue tests. And when we get some feedback on this, the results will sort of share this with the sales force. Three, in the gassing and filtering process, you'll get better conditioned oil. This will increase the oil life, reduce component, component failure, and significantly reduce cavitation and microdeseling, since, this, since there's less air in the oil. And four, this is a closed system. It only exhausts air as it's removed from the oil. Currently, the only product in the market that does this is the Parker Clean Vent which is bulky and an expensive item. Well, that sounds very interesting, John. My main concerns are cost and cleanliness, not necessarily in that order, but this system can't be cheap. How could I justify this to my boss and write him an ROI plan for us to consider this system? Good point. We need to take a few points into consideration when looking at the cost of the OxyStop. On the surface, the OxyStop cannot be compared apples to apples against the traditional reservoir. All cost factors need to be taken into account. For example, to demonstrate this concept, let's look at this rough example taking into four, 
factors. We'll call it the current situation, the way it's done today. The black data on the left of the table represents the current solution, a big reservoir, lots of oil, a kidney system, and a large machine frame input. The data on the right in red indicates the oxy stop. So the oxy stop, a smaller reservoir, less oil, no kidney system, and a smaller machine frame. When we start breaking those out into components, the first one is the big reservoir. For the current solution, the big reservoir is low cost, which is indicated on this chart by the dollar sign under the cost column, the second column in. For the OxyStop solution, you get a smaller reservoir, but the cost of that is going to be significantly more, represented in this example by the three dollar signs. When we move down to the second item, lots of oil, for the current solution, let's call that two dollar marks, bringing your tally up to three dollar marks for the current solution. The OxyStop, less oil, let's call it one dollar, now you're up to four. Now if we look at the third item, you got a kidney system. A kidney system is going to cost money. Hopefully it's a HIDAC kidney system, but even if it is, it's uh, going to cost you some dollars. So it's two dollars, bringing the tally up to five. The OxyStop does the degassing and the filtering in the unit, so it doesn't need a kidney. So there's no dollars associated. Now here's where you're getting caught up. Now the units are similar in cost. And if we take the fourth factor into it, which is the larger machine frame slash footprint, for a large machine, you're going to have a lot of dollars in the frame and the amount of steel, bringing the tally to eight. With the OxyStop solution, it becomes much smaller, smaller, represented by two dollars here. Now we're looking at six. So if we step back and look at your whole machine, John, there you have a cost model or a cost savings in going with the OxyStop. That sounds great, John. As an OEM of presses, we're always looking to bring on new innovations to the industry and, and be on the cutting edge. So this could be interesting. I don't know HIDAC well, so can you tell me a little bit about who you are and do you have any references I can contact? I certainly can, John, but let me make a quick comment to the sales force. This, is, this message has been very simplified for demo purposes. The brochure provides a more detailed review of this analysis and it could be used to help evaluate your individual system situation and um, help you develop an ROI for your customer. So check that out, that comparison in the brochure. So John, yeah, absolutely, I'd be happy to tell you about HIDAC. HIDAC is a privately held global company that started and remains in the hydraulic industry, but has expanded into most industrial markets. But I need much more than 15 minutes for a demo on who HIDAC is, so I'm just gonna focus on the OxyStop. This is a product that's been in place for 10 plus years. HIDAC has approximately 40 units that are in production at 20 plus customers facilities. The OxyStop was originally developed in Sweden and now is moving throughout the world and product support is available from product managers both in HIDAC filter systems in Salzbach, Germany and the USA in the filter system group in Leeds Field, PA. All right guys, we hope this demo gives you a, a 10,000 foot level concept on how to sell the OxyStop. And if your customer is not interested in looking at the whole machine and the cost associated with it, they're probably not willing to innovate with the OxyStop. It's not for them. If they are interested, we can dig into the details and uncover other benefits as we go. So how does the OxyStop work? We'll start out at the top level before we dig into the nuts and bolts. On the rough concept drawing, item number six is the hydraulic reservoir. Fluid is pumped to the hydraulic system from a pump and returns to the tank, much like a traditional reservoir. Item number three is a HIDAC OLF, which is part of the OxyStop. It pumps oil from the reservoir through a control block to the mini-ox. The control block, which is indicated in this as item number four, is also used to fill the system, ensuring oil goes through the OLF. We all know that new oil is not clean oil. After the control block, oil goes to the mini-ox, item number one. This is where all the magic happens, and the oil is degassed. Actually, it's not magic at all. It's very scientific but we're not going to get into the nuts and bolts yet of how this works. From the mini-ox, the gas that has been removed from the oil is exhausted to the atmosphere, item number five, or the membrane holder, item number two. If it goes to the membrane holder, it is separated from the oil by a reservoir that looks a little like a bladder. The bladder fluctuates as differential fluid is returned to the reservoir. As the pressure builds up, it is exhausted to the atmosphere through a breather. This provides you the concept. Now you can read the literature, watch Dan Zoller's video, 
And as you see more of the product, you can fill in the details for the nut and bolt level. For your information, in April, CMA Flowdyne Hydrodyne built a demo unit for their Drive for Technology Forum. Dan Zoller gave an intro to this product and we have it saved on Vimeo. So please seek it out and further educate yourself by typing HTTMS slash Vimeo.com slash 164436213 into your browser. So what's the next step, John? Okay, so the next step is to go to SharePoint and check out the resources. Schedule introduction presentations with the customers on your CRM list. This can be found in dashboards, market, press, slash OxyStop. If you have any problem finding the information, just give me a call. Don't wait for the product experts. If you have enough information to start the conversation, go make calls immediately. For us to sell this product this year, we need to generate projects this quarter. Get your feedback back to uh, Dan Zoller and myself. Um, and invite your customers to the IMPS in September. And don't limit this message to customers identified in the CRM list. Anywhere where precise control is required, the OxyStop would be a good message to send. Anywhere where cyclic testing, where frequency of hydraulic testing can be increased, decreasing the test time. Test stands where precise control is required. Or anywhere in the steel and press industry where reducing size of a reservoir and better contamination can give customer benefits are all good candidates for the OxyStop. So don't forget that HIDAC will be participating as an exhibitor at the IMTS show in Chicago. Please invite your customers to stop by our booth. More information will come on this topic. So thank you for your time and go sell HIDAC. Go sell HIDAC.